Make sure the shoulder goes first to first to F. Uh -uh. Do you see the bending gets lost there to the left? So, and, and it was not really a straight line as well there enough, okay? So, um, sometimes when you do like leg gilding to the half pass, so, yeah. That's better. Good. That's better. And now push the hunches a little bit to the left. Push the hunches to the left, or to, and the flexion to the right, just a little bit. Yeah, and now, yeah, see, and now he drops the shoulder. That's how quick he is, okay? So do leg gilding from M to X, and then from X to F, you want to do a half back. was better yeah because you rode him forward sideways yeah. so do it one more time Building to the right again. <coughs> uh, uh, see, there he drops the shoulder. Yeah? The right shoulder. So that has to be a little bit more finesse. And now half pass again. Yeah, that was a good step. And now bend them. Bring the belly to the outside. Bring the belly to the yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's going to be too short, but you turn yeah. left now. Okay. Good. And now start with a half pass. So really push that belly to the right. shoulder, just the belly. The shoulder goes to the left and the belly goes to the right and the hunches go to the left. Yeah. That makes, yes. There you go. There. And now push the hunches forward to the short side. Keep the bending. Keep the bending. Keep everything the same. And now think of pushing the hunches to the short side. So towards the connection. Yeah. And keep doing your half pass. Yeah. 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 It's just I want him just come a little bit more, pushing himself a little bit into that half pass. So you keep the bending, and then you just keep pushing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now not the hunches. Make sure the hunches don't go to the left. Yeah, it's a very fine line. It's super, especially with him where he is so rubbery and everywhere, you know. So now push him forward so you feel that his shoulders come up. Yeah. Shoulders up. Shoulders up. Shoulders up. Shoulders up. Yes. Good. Shoulders up. Half. Yes. There. 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 Do you feel that? That's.
all those little horsies, or they go this way. Yeah. Think jump, bring him, bring him up, bring his belly up. Think you want to jump him up a little bit. Really connect him. Really come with the hunches. Good. Now take the reins a little bit shorter already. Yeah, leave his neck there, but take the reins shorter. See if he's really even on both reins right now. Good. A little bit your right rein shorter. Good. And now push him forward out of those hunches. Push. Push on the circle. Don't lose his. Don't lose his shoulder. Push, push more. He has to go towards that bed. Yeah, a little bit more. There you go. There. And now take him step for step back, like also like with Frida, the smaller steps, yeah. okay? Just not slower steps, just smaller steps. More left brain if you can. Make your hips moving. Jogging more. Both veins even. Good. And extend it. And extend the trot when he's soft. Go. Kick. Yep, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter when he overreacts. Trot again. Take him back. Super. Yep. And again, until he's soft. Jog him again. More on the hunches still. Jogging and small step, yeah. Yeah. But a clear trot in the jogging, so not, yeah. And walk again. Small step. Yep, yep, I know. And walk. And trot. I think there you gotta make a little bit more point, okay? So, like, you try soft, but if he doesn't react, you gotta be so quick, like on fire. Yeah. Yeah. Can I hold him? No, not yet. Okay. Not straight enough. Okay. Walk again. Walk. Walk again. Take him back. And 
and jog it again. Yeah. With leg. Leg. Think a little bit of a quicker hip when you jog him. So you want to sit a little bit shorter and a little bit quicker. So sit ahead of him. So he really moves those hunches. In a shorter, quicker. Yes, that's better. So when he is soft, I want you to go three steps forward again. And take him back. Good, good, good. Yep. Yeah. But he can't, do you see he can't hold it too long, okay? Because yeah. then he leans on you. When he leans on you, you've got to take him back and you have to just patient until he's soft again. Yeah. There you go. Good. That was nicely out of the hunches. I really like that one. You're good. You can ride what you feel. Yeah, you can ride what you feel. Good. And back again. Hunches, hunches, and drop. There you go. Lovely. Lovely there. And then a few steps forward when you feel like it again. And back. So now I want you to, we gotta do that not so pleasant game again. So you're gonna jog one letter, you're gonna go from <laughs> letter to letter forward. And it doesn't need to be like a medium trot or whatever, it's just a change of a tempo that I wanna see. I want you to go from jogging from M to R, yeah. and then, or you can do like jogging from M medium at R, jogging again, Yeah. whatever. But I wanna see on every letter a different or a, a different tempo, so to say. Yeah. I want to see if you can ride them like in 50 different tempos in the track. Okay. And you just concentrate on the hunches and nothing else. And as soon as you feel he leans on you, that's the moment where I say you got to take him back. You got to drive him up. Yep, drive him up. Drive him up. Good. And in that game, with your tempo, you can do shoulder in, hunches in, in that game. Okay. With, with the change. Yep, whatever you feel like. So, but never longer than from letter to letter. Yeah, not so long. Like, I, I would just like to see already a shoulder in or a rock bear or something. You know what I mean? So, it's not only a tempo change that I want to see, I also want to see a change of, like, um, lateral work. And whatever your decision is, it's fine for me. Yeah. And I come in and go a little bit forward or just forward or just straight, that's fine. But change it up. There you go. When you go to the corner, I would always pick him up after the corner again. Okay. So that he really learns to, yes. A little bit flexion to the left. So that's for me a little bit too much side work. So I'd rather have him just a little bit, yes. Or you go just a little bit slower and then push him sideways. So he really steps a little bit more under because like if you, you will see it on the video, it's like he falls over in the lateral work, okay? Yeah. He needs a walk break, just take that walk break as well. You are his, you are his rider, you are the trainer. More outside way for him. Yeah. 
he can, like for the show, he can come a little bit more up there, you know? Like he can push the shoulders a little bit more up. A little bit less angle here. A little bit less angle. It's a little bit too much. Yeah. So do it again. Don't ask so much angle. So I really want him to just straighten himself. It's not so much for me about the exercise right now. Feel that inside shoulder coming up. Ride your exercise. Yep, ride your exercise. Yeah. Do you feel he comes a little bit more up there? Yeah. So do that again. Feel it. Feel the counter flexion. Feel the turn in the counter flexion. There you go. Counter flexion again. Turn. Yeah. Good. So now do it in the right um, flexion, in the right bending, but do not over flex him in the neck. On the outside, stay on the outside, a little bit more on the outside, so yeah. So do it again, so you get that shoulder with you, yeah, that's better. Shoulder, right shoulder, control that right shoulder, don't do it on the inside vein. Think of a jumping force, you don't pull on your inside vein there, yeah. If you pull on the inside, he's gonna make a mistake in the of your patterns that you have to do like in a row like shoulder in with a um, circle or right hind leg don't go past right hind leg whoa 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 whoa, whoa. so just trot again come around that corner at f again yeah half it up half it up get his shoulders up get his shoulders up and his head up Yep, up and out, up and out, up and out. Smaller, 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 halt. Right hind leg. Right hind, oh, oh. Drop again, correct it forward again. Bring that left shoulder a little bit more in front of the um, left hind leg. The, the outside shoulder, pay attention to it. Come around the corner. Left shoulder on the left front leg and hold. There you go, better. Uh -uh. He needs to wait for you. Whoa, let him wait. Count until five at least. And now keep that left shoulder in front of the left hind leg so he doesn't go crooked. There you go. Good. Good. So think about it. Yeah, you should. That's why I say you, if you need a walk break, you can give him a break. <laughs> 